Hello guys, you're welcome again to another After Effects Tutorials and today I want to show you how I created this simple logo reveal animation in Adobe After Effects. So support me on this one, like the video, do not forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel, turn on the notification then come back, let's get started. Now in Adobe After Effects, I already have my composition, it's a pretty simple basic composition and I have imported my logo right here on the timeline. So before I proceed, I want to use this opportunity to thank you for the 2K subscribers on my YouTube channel. Without you, this wouldn't have been possible, so I appreciate you. Now back to the tutorials. So first, we are going to pre-compose this logo. Name this logo holder, then make sure you move all attributes to the new composition and then hit OK. Then we're going to click on this eye icon to hide it. Then make sure no layer is selected. Then you pick the ellipse tool right here. Hold down control and shift to draw a perfect simple small size cycle like this. Then hold down control and double click on the anchor tool to move the anchor point to the center. We're going to align this to the center. We're going to rename this to drop. Now we're going to expand this ellipse option right here. Then right click on the ellipse part and convert to Bezier part. This is going to enable us to edit this one from square and it will morph into a cycle. So let's pull in a little bit. Move your time indicator to about one second forward in time and expand the part option and set a keyframe for the part. Then you're going to move about five frames backward and start to edit this into a square. So pick the pen tool and make sure you select outside before you select the ellipse again, ellipse part again, and then start to select the individual vertices. At this point, move this like this and then you select the next vertices, still hold down your Alt or Option key on Mac. Move it in like this. And then move this inward like this. So another way you can just make this faster is you hold down the Option key and click on all the four vertices and it will convert to square like this. So now let's fit this back to screen. So we're going to move our time indicator to about 1 second 15 frames forward in time. Then we're going to hit P on the keyboard to reveal the position property and set a keyframe for the position. Then go back to zero and pull this back up the frame below. Move your time indicator again to 1 second forward in time and then move this upward until it exceeds the center of the frame. Move your time indicator to 4 seconds forward in time. Hit N to set the preview point. If you preview this now, this is what you have. Hit U on the keyboard to reveal all the keyframes. We're going to do one more thing right here, right on 1 second. We're going to hold down Shift and hit R on the keyboard to reveal the rotation. Then set a keyframe for the rotation at that spot. Then go back to 0 and set the rotation to negative 2. Select all the keyframes right here, right click and then go to keyframe assistant and then easy is. Select this keyframe right here and switch to graph editor. So we're going to move this very particular one right inward and this one we'll move it like this. Edit your speed graph like this if you want to have the same motion I am achieving right here. Otherwise, you're going to have a different type of animation for the drop. Do the same thing with the rotation. Now, if you preview, this is what you have. Now you have it popping up, then morphing into the ellipse and then dropping to the center. So now move your time indicator to one second forward in time. That is going to give you the peak of the drop. Then make sure no layer is selected. Pick your pen tool. Then set the fill to none. 
and set the stroke color to white and set the stroke width to 3 then we're going to draw a line from the bottom right here to this spot hold down your shift key to keep it straight so with your shape layer still selected hold down control key and double click on the anchor tool to move the anchor point to the center we're going to align this to the center on the x-axis i'm going to name this to line just to keep things organized now hit uu on the keyboard to reveal the property go to this add arrow right here and add a trim part so we're going to move to where it has it at the peak right here expand the trim part option and set a keyframe for the end property then move back to zero and set the property value to zero then move five frame forward and then set a keyframe for the start and then move five frame after the last keyframe and set the value for the start to 100. Select all your keyframe, right click on it, go to keyframe assistant and then easy ease. Select these keyframes right here, switch to graph editor and pull the graph inward like this. And this is gonna give you this. Duplicate it, change the stroke width to one, then hit P on your keyboard and move it on the x-axis toward the left then duplicate it one more time and move the x-axis to the right then you're going to offset them like this so that they will not come at the same time and if you preview now this is what you got beautiful i think the offset is too wide so i'm going to move it a bit closer so that it will happen a bit faster beautiful make sure no layer is selected select the ellipse tool right here set fill to white and set stroke fill to none at this point we're going to unhide the logo so that we we'll have the size then hold down control and shift to draw a perfect circle at the center like this Hold down control, double click on the anchor point to move the anchor point to the center. We're going to align this to center as well. Hit S on the keyboard to reveal the scale properties. Set a keyframe for the scale. Then move to zero and set the scale value to zero. Now you can hide the logo again. We don't need it at the moment. So if you move now, I want it to pop up just when this logo is at the center. When that drop is at the center, something like this. Easy is these keyframes. Yes, this is what I want. Beautiful. So duplicate this one and offset it by two frames forward. And then set the track mark to alpha inverted for the bottom one. Hit you on the keyboard select the top one and hit you go to the last keyframe and change the value to 101 that is going to make it slightly bigger than the bottom one then if you preview now this is what you have beautiful so i'm going to select the boat layer and pre-compose it i'm going to name it bubbles make sure you move all attributes to the new composition and then hit ok so this is going to give you this beautiful so duplicate it again and we're going to offset it to the point where this hits the ground. So let's preview now and see. Beautiful. So this is the time to unhide your logo and move it to the top hierarchy. Then offset it on the timeline to this point. Now we're going to move our time indicator to this point. Hit S on the keyboard to set a keyframe. For the scale and hit up to set a keyframe for the rotation hit you to reveal all the keyframes so we're going to come back to this point and set the scale value to zero and then set the rotation right here to zero by negative 45 select all your keyframes then hit f9 on your keyboard to easy ease now we have to make sure we cut this just at the point where this drop is dropping right here so move 
bottom to the drop layer and trim it hold down ctrl and shift and d to cut it and then delete the top one so that is going to end the drop at that spot that way we will not see it when this is happening now if you preview now this is what you have i just adjusted the timing of the logo to make sure it happened when that drops happen then duplicated the bubble layer change the sizes and place it randomly on the screen to give me all of this you can also use motion asset element if you want to know how to create that i already have a video covering how to create more stylish uh, motion element in adobe after effects you can check the video on the card above also to celebrate my 2k subscribers you can follow the link on the description to download the template for this you can use it for your personal use or commercial use if you learn something new on this video please hit the like button that will enable the algorithm to suggest this to more people if you have any question please feel free to ask me in the comment section and i'll reply to all questions as quick as i can if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet please subscribe to my youtube channel you can support me in any way you can give me super thanks subscribe to my membership whatever way you want to support me with even if you share the video that is also a huge support and it is highly appreciated if you like the video leaving a comment is all a support so in whatever way you are able to support me i highly appreciate you so until i see you again on the next one my name is ssb otaru from motion digit studios